guys. Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by for another review. Uh, tonight we're going to stick with our little uh, founders theme that we're doing. We did um, the Maple Mackinac Fudge last night. Uh, tonight we're going to do another one. This is going to be an IPA though. Uh, this is actually going to be their uh, wet hopped uh, IPA. Uh, it's their Harvest Ale uh, 2020 edition. Uh, this one comes in at 7.6%, 70 IBUs. Uh, this one was bottled on September 21st, so we're just over two months old. Uh, I'm not super worried about it. Um, you know, I like to drink my IPAs within three months if possible, so uh, we're definitely uh, in that range. So uh, I bought this as a single, and it was $3.99. Um, so, I mean, you know, pretty good value. Um, you know, usually you can get their beers for fairly cheap. Um, it says each fall, our brew house looks more like a greenhouse as thousands of pounds of wet hop cones arrive, uh, within hours of being picked by some of our favorite local hop growers. Uh, acting quickly, we then load up these wet hops into what will become Harvest Ale in an impossibly aromatic an impossibly aromatic and bright IPA, bursting with fresh pine, melon, and citrus notes. Our ode to the beauty that is the wet American hop. So, cool. I like me some uh, wet hop IPAs. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to try very many this year. Um, so, uh, excited about this one. I think I might have one more in the fridge. Um, so, we'll check that out and see. But uh, let's go ahead and pop this and see what we've got going on here. I haven't had this beer in a few years either. Uh, I used to get it every year. Oh wow, I can smell it already. I'll go ahead and just... It's actually, uh, looks a little different than I thought. I'll go ahead and just try to get it... Get it all in here. It's just a little bit left. We'll just have a big old foamy head that we won't be able to smell out of. Uh, for a few seconds here but uh yeah i don't know what hops uh this is using this year actually i don't know if they ever tell you uh, what it is but uh anyway uh founders is out of grand Ma uh, grand rapids michigan so uh yeah they don't they don't say what hops are in this one um uh, let's go ahead and just try to smell it um actually i'll show it to you first so beautiful looking beer it does look a little more amber on camera than it does in uh, in person. It's very just light gold color in person. Um, just wondering if maybe we can. Yeah, it's probably just the light behind it and all that. But uh... yeah, it's just kind of a. Uh... It's very golden uh, in person. Uh, super rocky. Uh, two fingers worth of head there. Very soap sudsy, fluffy. Um, I can see carbonation bubbles streaming up. It's not completely clear. Uh, it's got like a nice light haze to it. Um, I don't know if that's mostly chill haze or just, you know, just has a little bit of haze to it. But anyway, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. We're literally probably going to shove our nose into this head, but anyway. Dude, it is just like sticky dank. Like it is like just it's weedy, big cannabis flavor or aroma. Some grapefruit in there. Maybe a little bit of pineapple. Yeah, maybe like a light melon character, maybe some peach. Let's go ahead and try to taste this thing. Cheers. Wow. Very flavorful. Yeah, taste follows the nose pretty well. Um, it's just exploding with that. Super weedy dankness, um, followed up by like, 
you know, some nice citrus fruit, mainly like grapefruit and orange. Um, and then it does have a little bit of a pineapple thing going on. It does have like a nice, like resinous pine uh, flavor in there as well. This thing definitely leans more West Coast. <clears throat> Though it's not super bitter or anything like that. Um, but it is a nice balance. It's, you know, it's got some nice malt flavor as well. Some like bready malt. Um, I don't know if they use crystal malt in this just because of the color. But it's got a nice like sweetness in there as well. Um, but yeah, nice like medium mouthfeel. Um, as I said, very citrusy and fruity. It's got a, like a big cannabis flavor to it, uh, and then it's got a nice um, pininess to it, like a resinous, like pine type thing. Um, a little bit of bitterness, and then uh, you know it's a, it's fairly dry as well. As soon as you swallow it, that sweetness hangs out for a good few seconds. Uh, and then it starts to dissipate away. It does leave um, a very like sticky. I don't want to say sticky. It's just got like, a, a very prevalent like that dankness is just like hanging out in your mouth afterwards. Um, but yeah, this is a great beer. I'm really glad I picked this up. I haven't had it in a few years. I actually forgot um, how good it was. So uh, if you like the uh, wet hop beers definitely try this one uh, as far as the alcohol content 7.6% uh, I'm not really picking up on that at all uh, it's very easy to drink um, so yeah it is what it is uh, that's uh, Founders Harvest Ale Wet Hopped IPA um, hope you guys have um, or I don't know hopefully you guys are having a great beer right now and uh, if you have had this one, please let me know and what you thought about it. And then if you haven't had it, I'd encourage you to pick it up. Um, you know, if you like that style of beer, um, pick it up. Let me know what you think if you do get to try it. So um, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, uh, leave a comment and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.